Okay, so now we've been practicing finding our root note with our index finger on the fretboard. And you can go really anywhere. We've named all the notes, and, and you know where that root note is. And when you're playing over changes, and you see that chord B flat show up, you know to get to a B flat with your index finger. And that's a really important starting place. But there are other notes that you can play when you see that B flat show up. The second most important note in, in a chord is the fifth, especially in the jazz chords that we're going to be hearing. So when we see a B flat written on our chord changes, we're going to find B flat with our index finger. But the second most important note is the fifth note of the B flat scale, which happens to be one string up and two frets up. So when I play B flat with my index finger, I can play the fifth with my pinky finger. So the B flat's on the sixth fret of the E string. The F, which is the fifth note of the B flat scale, is on the eighth fret of the A string. And this relationship, two frets apart from each other, one string apart, becomes vital as we play jazz music. This is the root, this is the fifth note of the scale. Now we need to know roots and fifths all the time. And incidentally, one other really important little thing to know is that this is the root, this is the fifth, and if you just go up a string from the fifth, there's our F, that's another B flat. So the octave relationship is two frets away, two strings away, and the fifth relationship is two frets away, one string away. Root B flat, F, root B flat. And we can do that for absolutely any chord. If we had the chord E flat, which is right here, root E flat, fifth is B flat, and the root is E flat. For the chord F, slide our root up here, F, the fifth is the note C, and there's our F again. So our fretboard geography is root, fifth, root. Root, fifth, root, fifth, root, and root, fifth, root, fifth, root. Now that works all over the fretboard. If you have a song that you see the chord change of G, there's your G, anchor finger. Your fifth is found one string up, two frets away, with your pinky finger, and the root again is here. So this is a G root, this is the fifth, D, and this is your G root again. Now, when I see those changes, when I'm playing a tune, I can use roots and fifths throughout. I try to put the root on the downbeat of every measure, and then I put the fifth on the third pulse of every measure. Let me show you with the drum beat. I'm going to play through blues by five using roots and fifths, and I'm going to play half notes, two pulses for every pitch. B flat to begin. Root, root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth, root. Now E flat, root, fifth, root, fifth. Back to B flat, root, fifth, root, fifth, F, root, fifth, root, fifth, B flat, root, fifth, F. Back to B flat, beginning of the tune. Root, fifth, root, fifth, root, fifth, E flat, root, fifth, root, fifth, B flat, root, fifth, root, fifth, F, root, fifth, root, fifth, B flat.
Go ahead and try that on your own and really work for knowing that root fifth relationship as you play through your changes. Get really, really good at that and make sure that the downbeat of every measure is the root. That'll get you really solid on playing the bass line the way you want to.